Missiles stormed this station in 2015, killed nine members of Libya's Coast Guard, and took over the base. This is material. They transformed this building into a workshop for building metal defense shields used on suicide missions. Libyan fighters took back the base a few months ago. Now it's a nerve center for anti-ISIL maneuvers. Since Libya's campaign to oust ISIL from CERT began in May, Coast Guard patrols routinely fire on operatives from the sea. Vessels like this are traditionally used by Libya to patrol off the coast for drug smugglers and human traffickers. But since the campaign against ISIL started four months ago, they've been equipped with heavy firepower, like this Dushka and a multiple grad rocket launcher. It's also equipped with a 106 millimeter rocket launcher and backup ammunition. There is constant communication between the men on board and Libyan fighters on the ground in CERT. As fighters relay ISIL positions, Coast Guard operatives strike from the sea. The U.S. Navy, aiding in the campaign, has two warships operating in these waters. They're indicated here by the tiny blips on the left. As land and sea forces close in on ISIL, the Coast Guard's job gets tougher. We use the 106 millimeter when you're close to the shore because it's short range, but it's not that accurate. And accuracy is critical in differentiating between Libyan fighters and ISIL operatives. Commanders here say ISIL will be squeezed out of CERT by month's end. If so, Libya's Coast Guard will go back to safeguarding the waters against traffickers and sea pirates. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, the Gulf of Sirte, Libya.